the Golden State Warriors select Patrick O'Brien from Bradley University. So here he is. The Warriors wanted help uh, in the middle, and they got a seven-footer, terrific player in the Missouri Valley Conference, seven foot, 250 pounds, left school after his sophomore year. What's Stern saying to you right now? Anything? Did you remember? Uh, I think you mentioned something about my uh, cooking ability there. And Did he really? He might have brought up something about my Irish name. Yeah, well, that's cool. Yeah, where's the Irish name? How's that work? Uh, my mom's Irish. Okay, cool. And you are, when, when you say cooking, you're not kidding. Uh, on your brochure there, it says you want to be a chef? Mm, yes, sir. And how's that come about? Uh, you know, I just cooked in the kitchen with my mom when I was younger and just kind of... What's your specialty? I can make anything. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, because you're in the right city for this. You're going to like the restaurants. That's what I hear. And, yeah, and this is very good living. Now, you got in early this morning and, and pretty much made the rounds of... Uh, what, what have you seen so far in Northern California? Uh, I really haven't seen anything. We <coughs> got in around noon. I went home, took a nap, and then took off and did a couple interviews. Yeah, got to get ready for, for your business uh, yeah. business tonight. And tomorrow you make your big debut, the, the formal press conference. Yep. You like dealing with the press? Yeah, it doesn't bother me. Uh, just part of the lifestyle, I guess, and yeah. you got to get used to it. Yeah, you look like you're nice and relaxed. In fact, that was one of the, the things when people list the negatives, is that maybe you are too relaxed, that you're not angry and you're not tough enough. Have you heard that? Yeah, yeah I've heard that plenty of times, and you know, I just don't know where they get it from. Yeah. Really? Okay. So, I mean, if, if somebody gives you an elbow, you'll give them one back. Exactly. All right. We have the same problem. In fact, we have the same problem with our weatherman, Kelting. You know, he yeah. started out very passive, and now he's, he's hell on wheels. So, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, there he is. Okay. Let's take a look at the, at the big fella in action. If I say to you the one thing that's going to propel you to be an NBA uh, standout, it is what? Well, I'll probably shot blocking. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, that's what I've done best through all my you know, 13, 14 years of playing basketball. And I don't see that change any time. Yeah, you had a good NCAA tournament. If I mean, is that where you think your stock really rose? Cause some people say, wow, <coughs> number nine, that's pretty high for a kid coming out after a sophomore year. But in the NCAA tournament, you look, look pretty tough. Yeah, I feel that's probably where you know, I really got my number nine, yeah. abil or the ability to be picked number nine from, you know, uh, before that, I probably would have been sitting here today. Yeah. You got the money spent yet? And I mean that in a nice way. When your head hit the pillow last night, did you think, all right, I can help uh, mom here. I'll get a few more pans. My omelets will taste better because I, I can mess with uh, uh, better cooking equipment. I really haven't spent anything yet. Yeah. Uh, just uh, a couple airline tickets. Yeah. And Let's well, stick the Warriors for those. Yeah. And stuff like that. Okay. All right. All right. You wait to try and buy a house out here. Now, again, you're, you're going right to be a, you're going to be a millionaire, but still, you're going to be shocked. You know. Yeah, that's what I heard. It's uh, outrageous. Yeah, here. but nobody's going to feel sorry for you. Here's what Mullen said about uh, Patrick O'Brien. We really focused on a, a big, athletic player that can come in, rebound, um, block shots, and develop on the low block as we move forward. You ever see Chris play? Uh, no, I never got a chance. He's the only general manager in the NBA who is the best shot on their team. You know, he, no, he, no, you know what I mean? He stays in shape, and yeah. he can really not age it. He's probably the, the, one of the smartest players ever to play the game, so you're going to learn, uh, uh, learn a lot from him. What do you know about the two fellows who you're going to be competing with for playing time, Foyle and Beedrins? Um, you know, I really don't know much about them. Uh, I know one of them's long, long yeah. and athletic like I am, and I haven't really had a chance to watch, you know, Golden State basketball. It's not a hot market out in Peoria. Yeah. Okay. Well, there you go with Peoria again. Hey, was it hard being a? That's going to sound funny, but being a seven-foot guy in Peoria, here in the Bay Area, you can kind of get lost a little bit, or you always hear why people love playing for the Lakers because there's stars all over. But in Peoria. I mean, you probably couldn't go to Taco Bell without somebody following you, huh? And that's actually true. I do remember one time at Taco Bell, uh, ran into a How come I know everything, Patrick? No, how come I knew you were at Taco Bell? Really? Go uh, ahead. Finish up. Yeah. No, it's, I mean, it's, it's kind of nice. You know, you're the star of the town. People recognize you. Yeah. What happened at the uh, Bell, though? Huh? You were going to tell me about Taco oh, Bell story? Oh, well, you know, I just showed up, and the cashier guy knew me and yeah. asked for an autograph or whatever. Okay. So. Are you pretty easy with that? Because, you know, some... Yeah, I mean, it's... That doesn't bother me at all, you know, people yeah. want to meet you, you know, see you on TV. Okay, how old are you? I am 20, just wow. 20. This is going to be a lifestyle change, huh? Yeah. You're going to be able to, now do you, I was talking about the money before, but you know, it, you heard Puffy's thing, more money, more problems. You worry about life changing? Uh, not really, you know, I'm looking forward to it. I like change and, you know. Yeah. You got a woman? Yeah, I got a girlfriend. Good. She, she coming out with you? <laughs> yeah, she. Yeah. Pam, why is that funny? Now, hey, in fact, Pam, you know what I was talking here? You got a here? woman. You got a woman. Well, you got to talk. Don't you respect a guy that comes at you like that? Yeah. 
Sure, of course not. See, see Kelting's, <laughs> Mike's afraid of me, the weather guy. Thank yeah. God you're here. I've never uh, had luck with guys from Peoria until you uh, showed. Hey, Pam, do you remember what? back in 91 when Chris Weber's first night in the Bay Area? Remember Chris yeah, Weber? Of yeah, course. Pam yeah. and I sat and talked with him. Of course, you know, he lasted one year and went on. So since then, the Warriors have not made the playoffs. You know all about that, though, right? Yeah, I've heard about that one. All right. What do you think? You know, I, I'm not going to ask you to make any promises, but I'll ask you straight up. You'll definitely be on the roster. They're not going to put you in the de developmental league next year? Uh, that's different. Not, not from what I know so far. Yeah. Uh, and how much will you play, you think? You think you're going to play considerable minutes? Oh, uh, you know, I really don't know. I haven't had a chance to play against, you know, the... Uh, NBA competition, yeah. so mm -hmm. I can't really gauge against anything right now. All right. Well, I wish you best of luck, and right, give thanks. them heck tomorrow. You're going to have all the cameras and everybody, so uh, just remember, the, the first question was, you have a woman, okay? <laughs> Pam, you thought that was what, too tough? I, no, no. It's, no, that was a Gary question. All right. You want to comment on this nice young uh, fella, you can email us here, and uh, we wish uh, Patrick O'Brien the, uh, the best. You're going to like living here, young man. Thank you. Okay. Back to the desk. Good night, everybody.